it's Randy and I want to go over a couple of things uh, that I think are very important some of the most important uh, things that you can do if you're entering the car uh, business you're going to be going to auctions not only to buy cars and you're going to auctions also to sell cars so it's very important that you understand the rules uh, about going to an auction it's a lot more than simply buying a car and being the final bidder. So I want to go over some of the rules that can literally save or in some cases cost you a lot of money. And we're going to just touch on a couple of them because there are so many of them and there as you can see here there's about 18 pages um, of rules here. And so I want to go in and try to interpret um, a few of the basic ones. Now the first thing you want to notice here is I've highlighted some of the areas here. Uh, and let's talk about manual transmissions a minute here. Uh, vehicles with standard transmissions cannot be arbitrated for manual clutches unless the defect will not allow a safe test. So beware, people, when you go out there and you're buying a car with a manual transmission, you have no arbitration on the clutch of that. That clutch can be completely out. Most of the time, that repair in itself is under $500. So literally, if you buy a green light car with a manual transmission and that clutch is grinding when you shift gears or anything like that, chances are you own it and you're looking at the repair for that. Most of the time, like I say, a clutch now is under a $500 repair, but get ready. Uh, you will have no arbitration on that car even if you bought it under a green light. Now the next thing I want to go down to here that I've highlighted is, is very important to me. First I want to remind you that inline and online arbitrations are totally different. So beware that. Um, there are two different arbitration policies uh, for each instance uh, that you buy on those vehicles. Now this one personally is very important to me. In lane. Any single mechanical or electrical defect that has a repair cost of $500 or more is subject to arbitration on green light vehicles. Single defects less than $500 are deemed minor and not subject to arbitration. Our auction will not arbitrate physical defects or announced conditions. Now this is very important when you go into an auction you hear what they call a lot of ch uh, chant uh, auction. And, and these are what auctioneers actually go to schools to, le to learn is their chant process. Inside that chant process though, there are very important rules. And so you better know those rules or you better be prepared to get burnt by the ru those rules. This is very uh, important on this auction. On green light vehicles, any single defect can not be more than $500 or you lose your right to arbitrate it and that's an in lane only. For instance if you've got four defects in a car being electrical, engine, uh, drivetrain, whatever those are there's four important components of a vehicle of course and that's engine, transmission and your drivetrain and electrical. So if you have one instance in each one of those up to four that means you can buy a car in the green light under the green light that could actually need two thousand dollars worth of repairs combined and you still not be able to arbitrate that car so be very very careful when you're going through there and it's very important this is not pointed out in this part but I will tell you this that any car that you purchase pretty much at any auction twenty five hundred dollars or less is automatically a red light car there are no arbitration rights on that car, except if they have represented that car to have a clean title, and that car does not have a clean title. It's got a rebuilt title, or it's got frame damage. They have to disclose that on the vehicle, even if it's a red light car. If that announcement has not been made, and you can prove that announcement was not made, you are not obligated to take the car. It may be an as-is car, but those announcements have to be made. Be very, very careful. You have to listen closely to see if those announcements were made or not. Now, there's videotapes. There's also a lot of things going on in an auction that will document the terms 
that that vehicle were sold under. So you're going to have to look back and use your resources and maybe call the auction to show you the video on them. But these are very important to you. This is a lot more than just going and buying, selling cars and winding up being the high bidder on a vehicle and coming out. I've known as, I've bought lots of vehicles where I thought I was getting a great deal on them to get on them and find out that the thing needed $2,000 worth of repairs and all of my profit has gone down the tubes. So you better know what a green light deal is. Now you've actually only got, when you're in lane, you've got until close that auction day before you pay for the vehicle to arbitrate it. Once you pay for that vehicle, your arbitration rights are gone. You've got ride and drives on these cars when they're in a green light. Remember, ride and drive means you can take the vehicle out of the auction. You have a gate pass where the gate uh, person will let you out of the auction with your uh, gate pass, drive the car. You have to have the car back into the auction uh, prior to auction close, or actually about an hour prior to auction close, then you go in and pay for it, or you go arbitrate the car. But make sure you know these rules, because you will lose a lot of money if you don't. We're going to be coming back to this often uh, throughout, because this to me is one of the most important things about being a car dealer, and especially being a successful car dealer.